the event of the Granola the Survivor arc, Vegeta had finally achieved a new level of power that was separate to Goku's Ultra Instinct, as this very power that Vegeta referred to as Ultra Ego became a staple to who Vegeta was as a warrior moving forward. However, it was only during his battle against Granola where Vegeta admitted defeat and declared that he simply couldn't use the power of destruction the way Beerus had wanted him to solely use it, mainly because Vegeta had admitted that he was no longer a cold-hearted, bloodlustful warrior as he was in the past. However, despite having to use that very power against Gas and briefly against Black Frieza, it still wasn't enough. But, could this simply mean that this is only the beginning for Vegeta and that he could still evolve Ultra Ego as time goes on? Because if Vegeta were to master the power of Ultra Ego, then not only would Vegeta become more susceptible to taking damage without getting weaker, but the destructive nature of where the power derives from could embed itself within Vegeta's very being, in not only allowing for the power of Hakai to be merged within almost every offensive maneuver that Vegeta uses in battle, but would essentially make Vegeta that much more powerful and dangerous to whoever he ends up going up against. 